California wildfire danger hit close to home for our newsroom today. We watched along with our Channel 2 viewers, reporter Ryan Korsgaard experiencing this chaotic fallout firsthand. He was in Thousand Oaks covering the mass shooting when he was awakened in the middle of the night and then ordered to evacuate his hotel. There are three fires burning in California tonight. Ryan is in the southern part of the state where two of those fires have communities on edge. Ryan, first we want to say we are grateful that you and your photographer David Weed are doing okay tonight. Thank you, and we appreciate it. We certainly did not expect that overnight. In fact, last night we were headed to the hotel. We could see smoke, but we had not seen flames. Overnight, really, that fire just exploded and took homes just like this with it inside this evacuation area. This is not how you expect to wake up. The mountain peaks glowing in the distance. The so-called Woolsey fire was not far from our hotel. So they're going door to door right now, and they're telling everybody they have to evacuate. We got that notice at about 3 o'clock this morning as hotel managers went door to door waking up the guests in the sold out hotel in Agoria Hills near Thousand Oaks. We quickly packed up. The problem is when you're not from the area and you look up and see it Wolsey fire evacuations, you really don't know where that is. Our hotel was right in the middle of the ever widening mandatory evacuation area. And now I wanted to show you down. This is our lobby as we're walking out. Once we got outside, we could see the fire marching over the ridges and into the canyons, an area attacked by a gunman Wednesday night, again under assault, this time by a wildfire that knows no borders. That's the reason we're getting out. Let's look at the uh, horizon. By early afternoon, the fast-moving wildfire had destroyed more than 14,000 acres of Ventura and Los Angeles counties. Scorched earth acre after acre. Right now, this is just above Thousand Oaks, and you can see what firefighters have been battling and how difficult it is to get into these hills to get the fires out. In all, nearly 90,000 people ordered to evacuate in two counties. Many will return to burned-out homes just like this. Or just like this, as volunteers are simply working, trying to get the fire totally put out. I talked to a man a short time ago, and he said it is emotional when you come home and find your house is okay, but you find some of your friends lost their homes. NBC has a new number they just shared saying the fire is burning in California at a rate. It's burning 80 football fields every minute. Live in Southern California today, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.